I would rather be at home lying next to you <laughs> And that is when I ring your phone like what you're trying to do <laughs> Okay, so was that cringy or not? <laughs> <laughs> Cringe factor I don't know the song, I just was reading the lyrics um, But I think if you guys follow Tobin, you know what song that is And we're going to kind of talk about this We're going to talk about something that happened last week and when it first happened, last week, yeah. mm -hmm. a couple days ago, a couple days ago, well, today's Sunday, so technically last week, yeah, so last week, and a couple days ago, Tobin, this is like a pre moment, this is like a, a breaking pre moment. Well, we're interpreting it as that's that. true, that's true. Um, so you don't know if it's real. That's true. And when it first okay. happened, I will say this. I saw it, I might have even seen it, and I didn't put two and two together. Then our DMs and people in the comments were talking about, hey, did you guys see the song that Tobin had just posted on her on her Instagram? It was just like um, her Spotify playlist or something like that, because mm -hmm. the actual song didn't play on Instagram. Yeah, no, I saw it. I thought it was the cover, the art, yeah. art cover. And Tobin's one of those people who probably likes music that not a lot of people knows to begin with. Mm -hmm. um, and so I didn't think anything of it, but then everyone's like, read the lyrics, look at the lyrics, it's to Kristen, this song is to Kristen, and so I was like, okay, okay, so I read the lyrics, and then I go, you know what, I think it might be to Kristen, yeah, a little bit, and Sarah made a good point yesterday, Sarah's point yesterday was that when she was younger, or when she would post things on her Facebook, or her Instagram back in the day, if you ever posted song or song lyrics it was actually about was what was personal it was yeah, actually it was actually what meaningful. you were feel, meaningful like what someone's going through or what or if it speaks to you you know yeah, yeah. or if you like really connect to that song mm. i guess mm. so in tobin is one of the type of people who doesn't post a lot on their instagram no but i feel like what she posts is meaningful like with her art mm -hmm. re-ink mm -hmm. things that truly are meaningful to her that mm -hmm. she finds interesting fascinating whatever yeah yeah, yeah. and i think so. during this time also i think a lot of people are being very introspective right now just because you have so much time to think and to feel alone you know what i mean so i think this might be some type of just release you know she was having a moment release me. she was having a moment where she just says i'm gonna put this i don't care what people think this is what i'm feeling right now so what we wanted to kind of go over the lyrics because we thought the lyrics were very meaningful so the song is called On My Way, I think the, the gal's called Chica. Okay. How would you pronounce that? Chica? Chica. Chica. And I did do a little Chica. reading about this gal, is that she's young, she's like 23, and she is she identifies as bisexual. So okay, cool. she she this song is she uses the pronouns girl in this song, and that's another big thing. She goes, lying next to you, it's a girl. But let's kind of re I'm gonna have Sarah read some of the lyrics. Okay. Um because I think mm -hmm. it's it's telling not every lyric is gonna be oh that's me that's you that's this but I think it's it says something okay all right I would rather be at home lying next to you and that is when I ring your phone like what you trying to do I promise you won't be alone before the night is through girl I swear that I care look look and I'll be there so right there girl damn that's poetry yeah. if I ever heard some okay. girl look look and I'll be there okay let's kind of read through some of the lyrics I like that for I I think that the first um, the intro says everything yeah it says it all I like that that's that's, that's a good I like this part where she goes so I read that part where it says okay. I want to be want to be there but doing this concert when I get home just in my pock shirt just throwing something on then you play a song and you dance around like you've got a crowd but they got they got to leave when the clothes hits the ground um and so that's interesting when you have a crowd you know they're like so that. used to being in front of crowds they all the crowds are there you know whether they're playing soccer or whether or not they're just doing appearances true, they're used to true, in true. Crowds. But the next part is kind of interesting. They gotta leave when you take the clothes off. That's when you gotta leave. <laughs> that says something. And this is interesting. I know I get distant, girl. Believe me when I say that I that I miss this. Spending time with the dime, having a real face. So I haven't gotta be up on top of my wish list saying, "Baby, I miss you. I need you. Come fix this." 
Oh. That's very deep. You know what I mean? I'm gonna wrap this. It is. It's a wrap. Um, so I think there's a lot of lyrics in here that are just saying something. Like, like Sarah says, a lot of times you, you put these lyrics and they're speaking to you. Yeah. But it's also just a good song. Like, That's I listen true. to it and it just, I like it. It's a good song. Then I got some deep ish. So then I got you, rock you to sleep. Oh, nothing will haunt you. No, not with me. I'll be at the end of the day. I might be late, baby, but I'm on my way. Um, this is kind of one of those songs where I wouldn't read too much into every single lyric. That's true. At the end of the day, I just think it's a song that Tobin likes, and yeah, I think some of it's meaningful, but I wouldn't read too much into it. I you wouldn't don't. I wouldn't say this song is their entire relationship. Yes, I agree with that. Oh, I like this. When I'm home, it's quiet on the earth, and I want to thank you for being my person. Yes! You say you need me, and that feeling is mutual. I'm so glad that you see me. It's beautiful. Yes, <gasps> I love that. I'm singing this to you, honey. Yeah, I love it. I, love I think you're one of a kind. Yeah. Tobin is one of a kind. Yeah. They're yeah. both one of a kind. Right. We're all kind of one of a kind. Yeah. I promise I, uh, I promise all day you've done been on my mind. I lay down. I love the sound you let out when there's a chill down your spine. Oh, <laughs> well. That was I'm happy to say that I know that I got, you got to be mine. Because <laughs> I have to come. I got to go. <laughs> no, I like that. Like my person. You know, we, you and I always talk about finding your person. Because I truly believe in finding your person. Because... You're my person. Yeah, you're my person. Who are you? Just pretend um, you're like me for a minute. And I really think that's true because a lot of times, once you find the person you can be your complete self with, I know married couples who don't can't be their complete self with them. That they, uh, I know, awful. and I couldn't imagine that. I really couldn't. You are the only person on this entire universe yeah. that I can't be my full, yeah. full self. And I truly, I feel, I truly feel that the same about you. Yeah. Like I can be your my true self. I feel like we all have different. This might be bad to say, but we all have different faces we put mm. on with people. Yes. Like, I have a work persona. Yeah. Which, it's different. Like, I can't be my crazy-ass self when I'm at work with yeah. clients. I mean, I get a little crazy, but, <laughs> like, yeah. we have fun. But, you know, can't can't be out of control like yeah. I am with you. Yeah. Um, you see every side of me. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, not everybody does. Yeah. I think that's what it's about. Trust. I trust you hundred and a million percent. You trust me. Having a good relationship is about trust and communication. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that again. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Um, we don't know. Um, but what? Do you guys like so the bad. song? Have you guys heard the song before? Before me? I guess there's too much love talk. I love it. Yeah. I um, what do you guys think <laughs> about the song? And what do you think about when people post things on Instagram? Do you think, like we're doing now, we should read into it? Or do you think we should not read into it? And not read into it in kind of like an overzealous way. Kind of like read into mm -hmm. it in like a, a surface level. Oh, this might be about their life. But that is what it is. I think, let me answer that for okay. now. I think it depends on the person. Okay. Like I think if it's Tobin, she doesn't just post, you know, willy-nilly like a lot of people do. She posts things that are meaningful, yeah. like I said, that, you know, so that's why I think, you know, it might be more to it, but also it is just a good song. And also, it, yeah, it's a really good song, and also, it's kind of like Kristen, a lot of people say this, Kristen seems to be the one who would be okay with them making, being definitive mm -hmm. that they're together. Probably, Tobin seems yeah. the one that is a little more re reserved and reluctant about it, to making any type of declaration, and do you think this is some type of thing to Kristen saying, I'm posting this, most people are going to know it's about you, I'm okay with that, and it's kind of showing your I love you, and you know, people are going to know what this is about. Do you think it's some kind of like, no. like love to Kristen? You don't. Well, I mean, yeah, it could be, but I don't think they talk about it. Okay. I, don't, I think it's just, she's like, oh, this is a good song, let me yeah. post it. Might be about, might be about this girl might not be who knows yeah and well it is interesting that it was the girl pronouns too i've well, always we <laughs> talked about i don't think there's gonna be a, a kind of uh the new no. way of looking at sexuality is not the the coming out it's more like just uh de declaring love you know yeah which i love but i think it should be like not it should be but it could be like a kelly o'hara situation where you never talk about it but you're just you just kiss them one time and it's like or you take it you know you're hey. like 
without even saying like yeah <laughs> that was really uncomfortable <laughs> to say like oh i brought this girl to a party yeah and that's this is that but yeah. you don't have to say anything like this is my date but y'all don't have to know and what it is that's what i love about us moving into the future that's that's where it's going to it really is 2020 is because so i feel like back in the day if you were to say oh do you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend be like why would you ever ask me if i had a same sex relationship but now it's almost like oh do you have a boyfriend oh do you have a girlfriend it's like it's the, the way we're getting into that it's just like not it's not a thing well years ago six or seven years ago yeah. i had this co-worker who just out of nowhere asked me she's like oh do you have a boyfriend and i'm like no she's like oh do you have a girlfriend and i'm like how did you know like how and, and she then, goes oh yeah i said it to everyone and i love that and i'm like okay this girl's so like open and whatever i, <laughs> I just hope it's funny i hope men can get to that stage because i think with women it's easier i just think right. as a society we can accept men as saying do you have a boyfriend without someone getting offended yeah. you know what i mean which you shouldn't but i think but i love when you said your coworker did that because um that's just yeah and i asked her do i give you gay vibes like and she's like no you just i just you yeah. know just uh -huh. ask which is so funny and then my boss <laughs> he's gay well he at was. this job that i had he was gay and then you had said something about my girlfriend or i'm dating a girl and he goes oh yeah i know <laughs> and i'm like how do you know he's like oh, he's yeah, like oh you know, I'm gay, I have a gay dar. I know. <laughs> okay. He's like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's that. That's like, like but it's kind of fun. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. But what do you guys think? And like I said, this is just for fun. This doesn't mean anything. Nothing. It actually doesn't mean anything. That, we're not trying to out anybody. But. Yeah, we're not trying to analyze. Like, and if you're Kristen and Tobin, don't watch this video. <laughs> yeah, don't watch this video. Might get creeped. Very good. And it doesn't mean anything. We're just, just, just having the fun. Quarantine. In the no. front. Exactly. Like, thank, you, isolation. thank you guys for watching. I um, hope you guys are staying safe and I hope um, you guys are taking precautions. Yes. Of all types. Okay, guys, we'll talk to you later.